Here's a little information about hunting arrows. There's a lot of different thoughts on arrows, whether you want a light, fast arrow or a heavier, slow arrow. And there's benefits to both, really. What happens is, with a heavier arrow, you get more kinetic energy. With that more kinetic energy, you're gonna get better penetration. On the flip side, the arrow is gonna be going a lot slower. Now, if you have a light, fast arrow, you're gonna be gaining speed, but you won't have as much power when it hits the animal. So what you wanna do is you wanna to try to find that balance between speed and power. I personally prefer a heavier, slower arrow because if we're talking about something that's subsonic anyways, I don't necessarily think that a few feet per second makes as much difference to me as having that extra kinetic energy because what you want is you wanna pass through. If you get the arrow to go through the animal, then you have two blood trails, one coming out each side. So to have a heavier, slower arrow, in my personal opinion, I prefer that. Now there are gonna be minimums for arrows and the minimum's gonna depend on your draw weight and your draw length. So what you gotta refrain from with a compound bow is having too light of an arrow because if it doesn't have enough weight to push forward, then it's similar to a dry fire. That's where you draw your bow back and fire it without an arrow. What'll happen is your bow will essentially explode. I mean, not like a Hollywood movie explosion, but it will come apart and probably injure you. So what you need is you need an arrow that's weight is compatible to your bow. When you're buying arrows, you can actually look on most of the boxes. It'll have suggested arrow weight for your length of draw and the weight of poundage that you're pulling back. 